Elementor recently released version 3.12, which came with a lot of changes and new features starting from the page builder UI theme, to the arrangement of some of the previous options, to the renaming of some of the widgets, down to the addition of a new widget that can replace the need of an additional plugin, and that is the Mega Menu widget. In this tutorial, I will show you how you can use the new Mega Menu widget to build something like what we have here. And also, towards the end of the tutorial, I will show you some of the downside I have found with the widget. Though the widget is in the alpha stage of release, and before it gets to the beta or the stable and final stage of release, the developers might do something about it. Or, if you're seeing this video in the future, then they might have already done something about it. So let's get started. So for us to get started building a mega menu that looks something like this, or something like this, with these kind of features in it, first of all, when we go to our dashboard, we go to Elementor, then we'll head down to Settings. Now, once this loads up, we'll come down to the Futures. So now, under the Futures, first thing we need to do is make sure that you come to the menu and make sure the menu is set to active. It's already set to active here. Make sure it's set to active if yours is not set to active. And then you also do the same for the nested element. Make sure the nested element is also active because, as you can see here, it indicates that it requires the nested element. So once that is done, you go down and then you, you click on Save. However, if you wish to have uh, work with the new WordPress uh, UI interface, that is to have uh, your site look like this or your designing screen looks like this, all you just need to do is down here the WordPress settings, uh, the Elementor settings, you come down to the editor top, this part here, and then you set it to active. So once you set it to active, instead of seeing this kind of uh, uh, widget area and then interface, you're going to see an interface that looks like this with a widget area like this and then your publish here other options here and, and so on and so forth so we're going to activate that and then we just click on save all right now that we've saved that the next thing we're going to do is we'll go down head on to templates and then we'll go to team builder so on the team builder once this loads up we're going to build uh, go to the header and then build a header i've already created a header here so we're just going to edit this header we're just going to edit this header. We're going to edit the header. And it's a transparent header, so uh, we can't see anything here. So, But for the purpose of this uh, tutorial, I'm going to make it visible so we can see what we're doing. Then before we publish it to the live site, we're going to like make it invisible. Still. So to make it visible, we just come down to the styling and then we add some color here. All right, so we can see what we have here right now. So this is the native, the normal Elementor uh, nav menu. So if you come down here, you see that this is the one we're using. This is which initially was known as the nav menu, but Elementor has already has renamed it to a WordPress menu. So this is what we have here. However, this menu option doesn't widget doesn't have or doesn't support the mega menu. So Elementor have added a new widget type called the menu. This widget here is the one that have the mega menu option. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drag it and drop it here. All right. Now that we've done that, we're going to you can see the menu items here, which is quite different from what we have here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this up to look similar to what this what we have here. So I'm just going to call this home, and then I'm going to add something there. And then the next one I'm going to call it about, and then I'm going to have about. Then the next we'll call it service services and on the link section I'm just going to add the service uh, i'm going to duplicate this and uh, duplicate it again so we're going to change the rename this to portfolio portfolio and then we're going to rename this to contact us and change this here to contact you can add whatever link you want to add link in your case but i'm using this because uh, this is a, a one page website so we're going to change this to portfolio all right so now that we've done that come down here we have some options as you can see we have the content width the item layout and then the item position so we can set the position to the center and then down here you can see the drop down indicator we're just going to leave it the way it is so we'll, and then you can if you come down you see some drop down effect where you can set it how you want the drop down to walk should it be on hover or on click depending on what you want but i strongly recommend you leave it on hover and then there is an animation that you can set for your drop down so you can use the fade in which is also nice so the menu toggle you can also set that here and then you can set the responsive settings where the breakpoint is 
currently is on tablet you can set it to mobile depending on what you want so we'll now go down to the style options and the style option we're going to change the typography we're going to set our typography to poppings which is the typography we're using on the website okay and then we're going to increase the size to let's say 19 all right and then we're going to add the weight make it 600 okay this looks nice so once that has been done we're going to change the color we're going to change the color to white and then we're going to change the hover color to let's say red we're going to change the hover color to red here and like what we have here so once we've done that now the next thing we're going to do here now is we're just going to delete this since we've already replicated what we have here to here so we're just going to delete the normal uh, wordpress menu so what we'll have now is just the the menu that supports uh, mega menu so we'll now go down to the contents so now we're going to add mega menu to the portfolio area to make it look to build something that looks somewhat like this we're going to build something that looks somewhat like this so to do so we're just going to go down to the portfolio area and then we're going to hit on the drop down content activate this drop down content once you've done that you can see this here so what this means is that you can see it has created this drag widget here just this container you can see it on, on the nav this is it the menu you can see this is what we're this is where we are so now as we've done that the next thing we're going to do is we can add whatever we want to add into this particular section so to do so just click on this plus icon and then we're going to search for uh, tabs so this is it we're going to drag and drop this tab here so now that we've done that, we're going to set the tab to this option. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on this um, this plus icon here and then we'll add this uh, column. So now in this column, we're going to add, we're going to add another uh, container, a container in it. All right. Now this container we just added, we're going to duplicate that container. But we can't access the container right now because, uh, because of so many contents here. So we're going to turn on the uh, navigator. So that we're able to see what we're doing. So this is where we are. This is the container we want to duplicate. So we we'll duplicate the container three times. All right. So now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do right here, we'll click the plus icon and we'll add a heading to it. Let's go search for heading. All right. So we'll drag the heading here and we'll place it here. So on the container, we're going to edit the container and set the align items to the center. And then we're going to add um, some paddings uh, to the container area. Also, we're going to add a padding of 50 all around. Now we're going to edit the container, then we're going to add the text, so we're still going to change the title to uh, Recent Works Done. And then we're going to edit um, the styling and then we'll set uh, the color to black. And then we'll set the typography, we're going to set the typography to uh, Poppins. Alright, we're going to set it to Poppins. So now that we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a text editor to it. So let's go for text editor. Now we drag it and leave it at the demo content. So let's place it here. Leave it at the demo content. We'll just reduce the content. Yeah, this is what we have here. So now that we're done with that, the next container, this container, as a second container here. This container, this is what we'll be editing. We're going to add um, image box. Uh, yeah, this is the image box. We're going to drag the image box here. And then we're going to add an image to it. Uh, let's see. Let's add this image to it. And then Okay, before we do that, uh, before I forget, let's go back to the uh, tabs. Let's title our tab. So let's call the first tab web. And then we're going to call the second tab um, mobile. And then we're going to call the third type, uh, tab graphics. Graphics, okay. So now let's go back here. So right here, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this description. We don't need it. And then we're going to change the title here to website one. And then we'll go to the advanced settings, we'll go to the advanced settings, and then here we'll set the width. We're going to set it to custom and set it to 35. Yep, all right. So we'll go back to the styling, and in the styling, we'll set the image width to 100%. All right, yep. Okay, so now on the container where this uh, image bus is, we did the container, and we're going to set the, con the justify the content to the center, and then we're going to set the direction. We're going to set the direction to horizontal. Yep, and then we're going to set uh, the wrapper. We're going to add the wrapper. We're going to add this wrap. So once we've done that, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, duplicate this, uh, duplicate it again, duplicate it again, and make it four. Uh, once we've done that, we'll now just edit this and say two. This we we'll call it three. 
call it three, and then this will call this uh, four. Call this four. So on the on the last uh, container, we're just going to add a button. We're going to add a button there. Okay. Let's remove this structure. Uh, then oh, we're going to align the button to the center. Oh, first let's just align, make the container justify content to the center and align items uh, to the center as well. So once we've done that, we're going to edit the button and we're going to change it to uh, view more or whatever we write, or view more or whatever or see more, whatever you just write it there. And then we're going to increase the size. Let's set it to medium. Let's go to the stylings and we can change the, the, the typography to poppins and then the the button color we're going to change the color we're going to change the, the text color should be that uh, white and we change the button background color to black then we'll go to the hover and change the hover color to red all right so we'll have something like this okay so now that we've done this here we'll, we'll need to do the same for the mobile and the um the graphics section so to do this let's just turn on this um, structure here which normally used to be known as the navigator so what we'll do is this container here this is with the container that houses everything here so what we'll do is we're going to duplicate it we're going to duplicate it and then we're going to duplicate it two twice so we'll have it treat so what we'll do is we're going to drag it and drop it on tab two drag the other one and drop it on tab three just to speed up our work tab two and then we're going to drag this and drop it on tab three all right so when we close this now we now have this have this and we have this as well so now what we'll do now is that i'm going to pause the video then i'm going to um change all the items and make it look so just to make the video faster i'm going to re replace all these images with something different i've successfully done the same thing replicated this and then done this on the various uh, tabs so this is what we have so finally this is what our mega menu looks like this is what our mega menu looks like you can see but um another thing i want to show you is that now when you go to your edit your menu you come down here you see the content width this option called the content width this option here helps you you, you it comes with two uh, options which is um the full width and then the fit to content width so when you select the fit to content you can see it shrinks it to this side of the content to fit the content area that is the entire um, um, menu area okay and then here you can see uh, the content positioning and other other options you can do so now now that we've done that and then we'll set it to fit to content so we'll get exactly what we want as in the sample we we showed at the beginning of the video so the next we're going to do, we're going to edit the the container and then we'll go to the the style of the container and then we'll add some border let's add a border of uh 30 pixel all around okay so now um the next we're going to do remember this is a, a transparent header so we're going to make it transparent by removing the color we only added a color so we'll see what we're doing so we're going to remove that okay and then we're going to hit on publish so now it has been published so we'll come to our website home page and then we'll load it up this is what we're going to get all right so it was loaded completely this is what our mega menu looks like so you can see how easy it is for you to be able to use this new elemental mega menu widget to design whatever kind of mega menu you want to design so that's pretty much it about the new elemental mega menu widget all right so at the beginning of this video i made mention of some downside of this new mega menu that Elementor might have to do something about. Now, one of them is this mega new mega menu is not mobile friendly. What am I saying? No, it may be mobile, it may be friendly on tablet, but on mobile it is not. On PC it looks great, it looks wonderful, it looks beautiful. On tablet it also looks the same, it looks wonderful as well on tablet. And then, but then when we get down to the mobile version, you can see this is our mega menu on the mobile version. Uh, it, it doesn't really looks like a mega menu. On the mobile version it just look like a normal you know page edit on the mobile version and this is not really really wonderful it's not really really nice on the mobile ve um, no mobile version so i think elementor the developers of elementor might have to you know do something about this or better still they might even come up with uh, um, a, a mobile menu 
widget uh, or something you know just something smart but this doesn't really look like a mega menu on mobile it just looks like a normal website uh, design or website features just like we have out there so this is one of the downside next downside is the content with edit uh, with future now let's say on our uh, on our mega menu you come down to where you see content with so now if you should set it to full width and you're working with the full width yes you get full width you know full section to to work with freely and you see everything nicely but then when you now switch to uh the fit to content on the editor it doesn't really look nice it shrinks your content and then it makes you know working with it with the uh, fit to content uh with a bit difficult and challenging for you however what i normally do is that uh, i set it to uh, full width then when i'm done editing everything and on switch it to um, the content uh, uh, fit to content and then i do some minor tweaking and then get everything so that i'll be able to get something as uh, beautiful as what we we'll have here that's what we we'll have here so that is another downside though that really is something we can manage but if elementor should you know do something about this content with the the fit to content with on the editor because on the front end it looks wonderful but on the editor it's kind of difficult to navigate and work with and then finally is a uh, the, the mega menu is not SEO friendly in the sense that if you should look at the source code when you when you're done designing a mega menu it comes with a lot of div 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 unlike the native way of um, menu structure the native menu structure that is the nav then we could now have the ul and then the li and all that this doesn't have it it only comes with uh, div 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 a lot of divs so that might be a little bit problematic in terms of SEO of your website if you're using the mega menu and like I said earlier this is just the alpha release so hopefully element the developers of Elementor are working towards coming up with more and more better future or better way to go about the mega menu until then until they give us the better version or the the most stable version who knows they might fix some of these bugs and then even add some other wonderful stuff we don't know but let's just keep our hands crossed and hope for the best because we all love elemental so, so you've seen how the new elemental mega menu widget works and you must confess it's a very great beautiful and wonderful addition to the elemental page builder plugin because it eliminates the need for an additional add-on or plugin to achieve a mega menu on your website so however this is on the alpha phase of release like i said earlier so most of the bugs or uh, downside we may have noticed while trying it out will or might be removed or fixed in the next release so let's keep our fingers crossed and wait until we get the beta version or the beta release of this particular uh, widget and this is the creative arena if you're new to our channel remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you get notified first when next we drop a new video and feel free to drop your comment on what you think about the new elemental interface and the new addition to the elemental page builder plugin thank you and see you next time Bye bye